I'm going to look at some correspondence problems and how we can use the bar model to help us solve them or work out exactly what we're going to have to do in our calculation. So um, here is one where our smaller value is unknown. So a dog weighs 12 kilograms. This is four times as much as a cat. How much does the cat weigh? So I know that the dog weighs four times as much as the cat. So here's my dog and here's my cat. Okay, so I can see on here, um, the dog weighs 12. So I know the total of that is 12. And I'm trying to work out what this one is here. Okay, so I can see that if I did 12 divided by four, I would find out that unknown number, which might be three. So each of these squares must be three kilograms. Okay, moving on to the next problem. So the next one I'm going to look at is when the larger number is, un is unknown. So if I look here, a sunflower is five times taller than a daisy. So five times taller. So my bar model, look at my sunflower, it's five times one, two, three, four, five. Then my daisy, there's my daisy. My daisy is eight centimetres, so that's eight. So then I can see that each of these must be eight. So eight times five is going to give me that unknown answer. Okay, moving on to the next one. Now this one is when my difference is unknown. So with this one, I know what my larger value is. So Sam has four times, so Sam, one, two, three, four. Four times as many cards as James. James just has, okay, so he's got four times as many. Sam has 24 altogether, so this makes 24. How many more cards does Sam have than James? So with this one, I'm gonna have to do two things. I'm gonna have to do 24 divided by four to give me six, and that will tell me what each of these is worth. And now, because I know that's 24 and that's 6, I can do 24 take away 6, which is going to give me 18. So a two-step problem, but using my bar has really helped me to do that a lot quicker. And the next one I'm going to look at is another difference problem, but this time it's the smaller value that's provided. So Claire has four books. Sally has six times as many. So um, Claire here has four books. Sally has six times as many. Four, five, six. Six times as many. Okay. How many fewer books does Claire have than Sally? Well, I can see Sally's got one, two, three, four, five, six. So she's got six times four, which gives me 24. And then Claire's got four. So 24 take away four gives me 20. So the answer is 20. Claire has 20 um, fewer books than Sally. And then finally, that question that we can look at is about working out the total um, of the answer. So Amber has three times as many. So one, two, three, Amber. Beads as Isabel. That's my total parts. Together, so all together in all of this equals 48. How many does Isabel have? Now, this is a question which can so easily go wrong because you instantly divide by three. What you'll see by drawing the bar out is actually you have got four parts. One, two, three, four make up your whole of 48. So I've actually got to do 48 divided by four, which gives me 12. Therefore, each of these must be 12. Therefore, Isabel has 12 um, beads. 